Hello, hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the new ChatGPT plugin, Custom Instructions. So this new plugin that OpenAI has recently announced is supposed to be a competitor against the open source effort to create an autonomous acting AI agent. You may have heard of projects like AutoGPT, which is basically an open source project trying to achieve exactly what we're going over today. And so what we're going over today is how ChatGPT can basically prompt itself and to complete tasks all on its own. So you can provide it all the information that you need to provide it in a text box here, which it can then use as a guide for all processes in the future. You can also create a text document from which you have instructions, and then it can take from that document and follow those instructions along with the additional information that you've provided in the text box that you see here. So real quick to show you guys how to get this going, all you have to do, just like the code interpreter plugin, is you have to go down to here, down to your settings and beta, beta features, custom instructions, and turn this on. Now I'm not sure if this is a ChatGPT 4 plus member only option at the moment. It's not something I've looked into. This literally just got released and just got put in front of me like half an hour ago. So I wanted to make this video as quickly as possible so you guys can get the full picture. The introduction of this add-on opens so many doors for ChatGPT. I'm really interested to see how that's going to work with the browsing feature down the road or if it's even integrated into this plugin as it stands right now. So again, not sure if this feature is ChatGPT 4 plus only or if it's a right like a regular membership can have it um, but if you are a non-subscribe member using ChatGPT plus and you go here and to settings and you don't see it uh, it's likely that you just need to get the plus membership subscription for now so here's how it's going to work so once you've turned it on in your settings you can go here and you'll see a new uh, option here custom instructions and so what you have here are two different sections where you can basically add resources and information to give chat GPT the proper context it needs in order to act on a particular task so if any of you have watched my previous videos any of the last four that I've made I mentioned frequently how you need to provide proper context to the chat GPT or to any large language model in general for it to act properly on the information that you're looking for if you're looking for a marketing strategy for your business you need to provide it all the relevant information that a real marketing assistant or a real marketer would need in order to build that marketing strategy so this is kind of where you can do that and where you can provide a lot of that base information especially if you're looking at this from a primarily business perspective another way to think of this plugin now that i'm thinking about it is kind of like the chat gpt playground when you open chat gpt playground which if you don't know what that is it's essentially pay to play so for every prompt that you use or every time that you message ChatGPT, it charges you for that prompt. Uh, it seems like it would be very expensive when you just hear about it, but it's actually very cheap. But the point is, in Playground, you have the ability to put basically a set personality on the left side and then converse with ChatGPT on the right side. So when you do that, you could basically tell it to take on a persona such as a professor or an educator or a mentor or lecturer. You can tell it that it's an expert in particular niches and particular subjects and that can help guide ChatGPT to better service your needs. So this is kind of like that but now it's added native into ChatGPT and we have an extra feature where we can basically tell it how to behave as well. So the top bar here in the custom instructions is that sidebar in playground where you can tell it how it needs to act or what critical information it needs to consider and the bottom text box is how it should behave and how it should take into account what you're saying basically to kind of show what i'm talking about here is the base prompt that's been floating around the internet right now that's been created by nick a dobos and it's kind of self-explanatory it basically explains how ChatGPT should be acting based on the prompt and what other facets it should be considering after each prompt you also have some controls to tell it to advance or to stop and this is something that if you have experience with auto gpt should be pretty familiar with so this is kind of a similar thing to that except you have to build it yourself unfortunately but that also means that you have more areas for variability so we're going to test this little model and we're going to see how this works and then we're also going to revise it a little bit and do our own to see how much uh, we can get out of this plugin okay so here's what we've got right we have um, a simple instruction document here basically just four steps uh, i wanted to verify the information that i provided it so what i provided it uh, it's the same thing that i've given chat gpt and basically all the videos that i've done so far it's just the first paragraph of my executive summary or i mean 
it's just my executive summary it's only one paragraph and one thing that i notice is that this already fills up a pretty sizable chunk almost half of our total character count here which is not great uh, the objective of this especially coming from a business perspective is you want to be able to feed chat gpt or a large language model a large amount of data that it can then recall and act on the way that i'm thinking about all of this is similar to how stable diffusion uses LoRa models textual inversion basically to learn additional concepts which it can then apply in any given situation so basically what we're looking for here is a pre-trained model that is pre-trained on your business information and while we don't have that yet in an affordable way the best option to do that is to be able to provide information to a large language model in situations like this or in a way like this where it can basically read that info and try and recall it the best it can but it's not inherently trained on that data so i hope that makes a little bit of sense but the, basically the overall point is that we want to be able to provide as much information to these large language models as possible, but right now with the limitations of the character count in this plugin, we can't really do that effectively. So it's important that you're very concise and providing the accurate information, uh, providing the right information that you think it's going to need in order to get the task done, which is why I gave it the executive summary. I know that was a lot. I hope that made a little bit of sense. I'm sorry about that. So we're just going to move on uh, to our second box here. And this is pretty much just exactly what we had over here. Um, just our Nick A. Dop Dopos document right so uh what i forgot to mention here is that we have um a text file named x right and so i only put x here because i wasn't sure what i was going to name the file it's important that when you name your instructions file this text document that you replace this name um with the one that's in here and again there may be better ways of going about this we're going to explore that a little bit later on in this video but it's still important to take note of that if you're going to try and use this method. So there's also definitely no need to be worried because I'm making it sound like uh, it reads the file directly from your computer. It does not do that. In fact, you actually have to give it to ChatGPT in the same way that we did with the code interpreter. You're basically just going to drag and drop it in. So what we have here is our ChatGPT task. We're just going to drop that in. Uh, make sure we have code interpreter selected, ChatGPT4, and send it off. Okay, so right out of the gate here, it's definitely taking into account what we said in our uh, base document here. It's making sure that's reprioritizing all the tasks and being real, really detailed with it, while also considering what we said in our ChatGPT tasks document. We talked about how it should verify the information, which it says that it will do here. It also recognized the fact that it's supposed to be writing a plan about segmentation, targeting, and positioning, which I specifically didn't give it on purpose. Here we go. It's following our instructions even further by providing the task, uh, the restructured task list, which is something that we have here. Before each response, read the current tasks, reprioritize them, and assist me in getting started. So let's see what it gave us here. We can download it, which is great. Okay. So basically, it's the exact same thing that it has written here, which is cool. It's just a matter of which way you prefer reading it. I honestly prefer this just because it's more organized, but for the sake of it, we'll see what it gave us. Okay. So we have our first task, second task, third task, fourth task which are all the same ones that we have over here so here's what we've got based on the first task let's verify the information provided on Trolloc studios below are the details extracted from your profile and yes this is all very true this is exactly what it was given um, this is what I provided here in fact it actually took it word for word so that's how I know that it's reading it from there and it's not like taking this from memory and to me this definitely looks good so we can go ahead and move on so now here's here's the thing with this is that it's still missing the autonomous ability that auto gpt has right like you really could just say why 100 and let it basically run overnight if you really wanted it to and a lot of people have reported that it was able to complete the kind of simple tasks that they were given but um you couldn't use auto gpt for any large tasks really so i'm curious to see if chat gpt is just a more beautiful version of that like if it's just more pretty in terms of aesthetic and it's more put together than auto gpt which basically all runs in command prompt because right now i mean it's definitely helping a lot in terms of internal stuff and you already have the information for it but i'm definitely curious to see how this will do in terms of gathering information as well and this is actually perfect and 
the reason why I say it's perfect is because it decides that it's important to move on to the marketing mix after this. And that is actually exactly what the next step would be. And that is our next step, usually after we create the STP plan. And then it says to get started, we'll need to discuss and define the STP, STP aspects. I also like these um, options, right? Like it doesn't just say WSAD. It's just like it, it tells you what this means, right? So if I click W, it doesn't just mean yes. It says what that implies so like s doesn't mean no because if i were to say no chat gp2 would be like you know no what i mean everything it gave me was correct so that wouldn't make any more sense but it reasonably is able to deduce that i wouldn't be saying no i'd be saying that i'm just not ready yet but we are in fact ready so we can go ahead and say w okay so here's what we've been given and this is definitely not bad but if we're trying to have an autonomous bot that can basically figure things out on its own like an employee would, if the goal is to have a computer that thinks like an employee, we need to be able to get that computer to think for itself or to find that information by itself. And so when comparing this method to AutoGPT, AutoGPT I think is a clear winner here um, as it's able to basically reasonably assume what the next task should be and if I don't provide it information it's able to work around it sometimes. It's not perfect but a lot of the times if you don't provide it the info it needs it can try and work around or if it runs into a problem it can try and find another way around. Here we're not really seeing that. It's more just guiding us in the STP process like these are all questions that I've been considering when writing the STP process but it doesn't really help me at all because I've already been considering them. So with that in mind, let's see if we can actually interrupt this process and how it's going to react with that. So I basically just asked it to answer the questions based on the information that it has and to continue. Now that's something that I really like as compared to AutoGPT. With AutoGPT, when you tried to provide it context outside of the yes or no brackets that it had, it wouldn't consider that information at all. I mean, all that text that you give it basically just gets lost in space it never gets to chat gpt it never even considers it at all here when we interrupt all we have to say is just you know what we think basically and it's able to logically continue what we were doing which is extremely insane stuff and that's definitely employee-like behavior i would say all right so i've made a few revisions to our goal here um, and the first revision that I wanted to go through is what I actually changed in terms of its knowledge. So instead of using the base that we use here from Nick A. Dopos, uh, the no talk with the W to advance, all this, I decided to make my own. And so the goal here is going back to our conversation about um, an AI that can act as an employee and understand its position within a business and how it needs to behave. So the goal here was to basically outline um, a personality that ChatGPT should take on. And this personality is of a marketing assistant within my business. So I told it that a few things the job might include would be creating marketing material, understanding and developing the studio's marketing plan further, providing creative advice and more. I also provide some qualities that represent what the person should behave like. And then I also add you know, steps that it should be following basically for every single prompt. And the goal here is to basically create kind of a thread with ChatGPT that is not limited to one specific task and can branch out to a bunch of different things. So when we have something like this, we can then specify exactly what the goal is. So here we have our main objective being to brainstorm possible marketing campaigns based on the studio's positioning. I then provide some information about what that positioning is and then what you know, some more information on the task. So we're going to see how this works and if it will even work. So I'm going to take this document throw it in there, send it off. So here's a couple things that we can notice right away. So when you have something like this, it considers this uh, a task. So when you say do not limit your knowledge or thoughts, it's considering that as a task, not necessarily how it should be thinking. So this is probably something that I should have put into here, into our kind of control panel here. But it was able to deduce that all this is part of the positioning idea. So it, even though these have their own lines here too, it was able to include them in part of the positioning which is really interesting so i think this this is something that could be fiddled around with a little bit more maybe it's just it didn't really realize what i was trying to say here well the good news is, is that this didn't really clash with what it was intending to do it didn't get confused by these um by the fact that it was considering these to be tasks it just didn't include them here which is good and one thing to note here back to our conversation about whether this can access the internet or not unfortunately it does not seem that it can so if you wanted to provide it research that's something that you'd probably have to give it yourself which again also kind of defeats the purpose of the whole autonomous employee idea 
but in general all the information it gave was correct so i'm just going ahead going ahead and saying to continue as we can see we have some really good results uh, this is actually something that i did before um, a different method i'm not going to talk about it here but before all this even existed back in november 2022 when chat had first been introduced i'd been trying to achieve something like this where chat could consider the information that a business was giving it and then actually use that information and create ideas related to that i was having a hard time getting chat gpt to fully integrate all that info but now it seems like it's doing a really good job it's definitely taking the info from the executive summary that i provided it i mentioned in the executive summary that we're an innovative marketing studio that tries to use ai technology and so here it was able to add augmented reality showrooms which is actually a sweet idea so definitely some good results here, which just goes to show that you aren't limited by this original process that we showed here. You can make your own, and I'm sure that you're not necessarily limited by anything here. It's all about how you are talking to ChatGPT and making sure that you're being concise. This was just a very basic example that I wanted to do to show that you can use different models, I guess, quote unquote. But once again, do not forget the fact that you are limited by the 1500 character count. My original post this one right here was 2500 something so i had to limit it but even then we still get some really really good responses so definitely something to consider so overall this is definitely a very promising future in terms of autonomous support for employees or for business owners but this is also really scary stuff because realistically the only thing that this plugin needs in order to be an all-in-one employee ai employee is the ability to search the internet and then search through all that information by itself well this plugin definitely isn't perfect there's certainly things that you can use it for and i encourage you guys to check it out and maybe try some other things yourself i mean we saw today that you aren't really limited by what you put in so you can make your own models there's no template for it you can provide any information that you want and see how it's going to behave definitely try it out and if you guys find anything interesting please feel free to leave a comment in the description and if you guys appreciated this video and some of the other videos that i put out please feel free to leave a like it would be greatly appreciated i try and cover the newest tools happening within the ai space as they come out and i'm trying to do it all from a business perspective so if you're a business owner or you're still trying to learn about how you can integrate ai into your business definitely stick around because we got a few good videos coming up that will be all guys. If you guys need anything or you have any questions, please, please, please leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time.